So the whole arrangement is that the central figure, central figure of creation, the central figure of enjoyment is the Supreme Lord and the living entities. They are simply cooperate. By cooperation, by cooperation they enjoy. The, the, the relation is just like the master and the servant. If the master is ser- satisfied, is, if the master um, is uh, fully satisfied, the uh, servants are uh, automatically satisfied. Uh, uh, that is the law. Uh, similarly, um, the Supreme Lord should be satisfied, although the tendency for becoming a creator and the tendency to enjoy this material world is uh, uh, there also in the living entities because it is uh, there in the Supreme Law. He has created, He has created the manifested cosmic world. Therefore, we shall find in this Bhagavad Gita that the complete whole comprising the supreme controller, the controlled living entities, the cosmic manifestation, the eternal time, and the activities, all of them are completely explained. So the whole thing uh, taken together completely is called the Absolute Truth. The complete whole or the Supreme Absolute Truth is therefore uh, the complete personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. As we have explained that the manifestation are due to His different energies and uh, he is the complete whole. The impersonal Brahman is explained in the Bhagavad Gita that impersonal Brahma is also subordinate to the complete person. Brahmana Hang Pratishtha. Impersonal Brahma is also, it is a uh, the impersonal Brahma is a more explicitly explained in the Brahma Sutra, Sutra as the uh, rays, as there is the rays of the sun sign, sun planet. Similarly, uh, the impersonal Brahma is the shining rays of the Supreme Brahma or the Supreme Personality of God. Therefore, impersonal Brahma is incomplete realization of the absolute complete whole, and so also the conception of Paramatma. These things are also explained. Purushottam Yo. When we shall read the chapter of Purushottam Yo, it will be seen that the Supreme Personality, Purushottam, is above the impersonal Brahma and partial realization of Paramatma. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is called uh, Satchidananda Vigraha. In the Brahma Sanghita, uh, the beginning is started like this Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha Anadi Radhi Govinda Sarvakarana Karana. Govinda uh, Krishna is the cause of all causes. He is the prime Lord. So, uh, 
So the supreme personality of Godhead is Satchitananda Vigra. Impersonal Brahman realization is the realization of his Sat part, eternity. And Paramatma realization is the realization of Satchit eternal knowledge part realization. But realization of the personality of Godhead as Krishna is realization of all the transcendental features like Sat, Chit, and Ananda in complete Vigraha. Vigraha means form. Vigraha uh, means form. Abhaktam bhakti mapannam mannati mama buddhaya. People with less intelligence, they consider uh, the supreme truth as impersonal. But uh, he is a person, he is a transcendental person. This is confirmed in all Vedic literature. Nitya, nityanam, chetana, chetanam. So, as we are also persons, individual living beings, we are persons, we have got our individuality. Uh, we are all individuals. Similarly, the Supreme, true, the Supreme Absolute is also uh, the ultimate issue. He is a person. But realization of the person of Godhead is realization of all the transcendental features like Sat, Chit, and ananda in complete vigraha. Vigraha means form. Therefore, the complete whole is not formless. If he is formless or if he is less in any other thing, he cannot be complete whole. The complete whole must have everything within our experience and beyond our experience. Otherwise, he cannot be complete. The complete whole personality of Godhead has immense potencies. Prasa Shakti Bhividhai Vasyate. That is also explained in Bhagavad Gita. How he is acting in different potencies. This phenomenal world or the material world where we are now put is also complete by itself because Purnamidam, the twenty-four elements of which, according to Sankha philosophy, the twenty-four elements of which this material universe is a temporary manifestation, are completely adjusted to produce complete things which are necessary for the maintenance and subsistence of this universe. No extraneous effort by any other unit is required for the maintenance of the universe. It has its own time fixed up by the energy of the complete whole, and when the time is complete, these temporary manifestations will be annihilated by the complete arrangement of the complete. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Yeah.